Right, in this video, I'm going to show how to export a data set. So if you remember in previous videos, um, we created a data set using the card statement, so by direct input. Let's check my library, and we put it in MAT008. Click here, we created the data set called first underscore data underscore set. So if I open that up, a very simple data set with Bob and Billy and the ages 23 and 24. So if I close that back down, I'm going to simply export this. So I go to my program editor, and I say proc export, which is just the, the, the procedure that we're going to use. The data file, the data set, the SAS data set that we're going to export. So data equals MAT008, the library, followed by a dot, and now the actual data set, first underscore data underscore set. Now this is all in the procedure step. Um, out file, so where is this going to go? I'm going to put this in uh, on, on, the, um, on the desktop. So slash desktop slash first data set dot csv. Now remember, if you're using a Windows system, the slash will go the other way, and you might start off with c colon, but that's, uh, that's the only difference here. Now the type of file I'm creating, so dbms equals CSV and again this is not necessary because I'm putting in .CSV so SAS would actually recognize the um, the file extension but it's good practice to put it in there and replace so if there's already a file in there called that I don't want it to be replaced finish off with a run and of course I got all my semicolons throughout I've only got the one semicolon ending this procedure step so all this is one line of code really so I highlight that I click the running man or press F8 on Windows and now let me check my log. Three, right, everything seems fine on the log. Everything's blue. So now if I minimize um, a few things, you can already see appearing on my desktop this CSV file. So let me just open that. And we do have exactly the CSV file that we expected to have. Okay, so that's a very simple procedure, uh, procedure export procedure to um, to export the data set. If I close that back down. You can change things in there, and you can export to Excel. You can export to uh, tab delimited files, uh, but we won't go into that in this video.